welcome back everybody. Today I want to show you a quick tutorial on factory use in the current build. So this is being filmed in dev.013 or 0.13 and we are currently looking at a uh, factory station. It's got lots of shields, lots of power, lots of tanks. It's a very simple symmetrical design. I tried to make it a little bit fancy with the uh, shield fins there but effectively I built it right over the top of the shop because you know it's always quite cool when you built it right on the shop but let's get on with the tutorial so effectively I am just going to dock up so let's say zero and dock jump out the core hit the gravity right so this is the station which I've created for this tutorial as you can see there's a whole bunch of stuff here we're going to go through and actually build one of these first, just so that you know what, it, what we're dealing with. The first thing that you're going to need is a factory input. So if, let's just clear out this hotbar so we don't confuse things. So we're going to need a factory input. And we're going to need a factory enhancer. Now every tick, which is six seconds, the factories will cycle which draws power so you will need uh, to balance out the power systems on your station with the amount that your enhancers you're using. Enhancers will speed up the amount that the factory produces per tick. Now it's quite a simple system at the moment and maybe overhauled soon in which case I'm going to return to this but effectively what we're going to be doing here is you put down a factory input like that and then you can just run it like that you push R and then you put in a recipe and its ingredients and every tick it will produce what is what the recipe is for I'm going to go through how you get the recipes in just a second if I push C on the input and put down some enhancer blocks the more enhancers I put down the more items will be produced and the more power the input will take. So this is like a way to speed up production with factory enhancers. They have to be linked using the C and V system, okay? But obviously if you've just put this down and push C on it, you can then just build, right? I'm not going to put anything in this, I just wanted to show you how that's set up. And that's all there is to it at the moment, guys. It's quite simple. You can see because I'm within range of a shop, all I have to do at the moment is push I. If I go to shop, and then I say, want to make decorative panel recipes. Um, on this server, I've set it to 50 blocks, but the usual cost is 5,000. It's a server setting, so it will vary depending on the server you play on, and you can change it in the server.cfg. So, uh, if I press OK, it'll say I haven't got enough. I need 50 blocks of that type to actually buy the recipe. So you can obviously buy 50 of them, okay, and then go buy recipe, and it will change that into a recipe. If I right click the recipe, which is now in my inventory, and tell me what I need, so if I say ice leaves to cactus, okay, so let's just do this one for example. So I'm going to go and put this in here. Now I need ice leaves and cactus. So if I go into the shop, go down to ice leaves. So we'll buy 500 of those. And then we need some cactus. Where's the cactus, guys? If I go past it, there it is. We'll buy 300 of them. <coughs> and then as we see, we're going to push R, put the ingredients in, and wait. There we go, it's starting to produce me decorated, decorative panels. Now obviously if I wanted to go and harvest these from planets, I can. I didn't have to buy them from the shop. And then obviously they would be free decorative panels, which I'm now creating. So I've already got 39 already. So now I can go nuts with my decorative panels. Okay, so free decorative panels, that was quite easy. So the next thing we're going to look at is something useful. So I decided to pick the AMC block for this. So 
So let's just get over there. Now, as you can see, we're back here again. I've actually put this um, AMC here so that you can see what it is that I'm making. If I just push R, we've got a recipe here which I exchanged many times so I could make an AMC block out of four white paint. So if I say OK, obviously I've already got some white paint which I prepared earlier. So we're going to take that white paint and put it in the uh, put it in the input, and it's going to start making me AMCs. Very simple. If I go to the shop and have a look at the price of an AMC, do, 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 let's see if this is actually worth doing. AMCs are 825 credits. White paint is this is the moment of truth. And white paint is the same price. <laughs> white paint is 779 credits. So you haven't really saved anything. So obviously you'd want to make your white paint, wouldn't you? So how do we make the white paint? Well, if I go over to here, I've got some white paint, which I uh, have set up a chain for here. So if we go into this one, it says here I need five wood. So let's find out how much wood is. Moment of truth. Wood is 610 credits, but I need five of them to make one white paint. <laughs> so you would have to be harvesting. You can't just buy stuff. It's not cost efficient. You've got to be making or harvesting something. Because obviously at this point, I can't harvest white paint. It doesn't exist. But I can make white paint out of wood and harvest the planet. Okay? So that's one thing. Of course, you could find a recipe for white paint and continue the chain. Okay, now I found that you actually needed different ingredients to make to buy the recipe for white paint. You needed to make soil to make the white paint. So obviously we've got another chain to create the soil to buy the recipe for the white paint so we can make it out of wood. And you need two rock to make the soil. <laughs> so obviously we could just harvest the soil. Okay. Um, but you, some of the some of the recipes, if we take a look at the recipe for white paint, for example, you'll see what I mean. If you look at white paint here, we go buy recipe. As you can see here, it costs 50 soil blocks. So you don't always need 50 white paints. You know, the, the recipe cost isn't always of the type of block which you're trying to make. So in this case, you need soil blocks. So you could just buy the soil block and then obviously exchange to get a good recipe because the actual recipe when you get it is random. So I will demonstrate that for you real quick. Uh, you basically got to buy, so let's see what have I got, I've got antimatter cannon so we can demonstrate it with that. If I go to ship, antimatter cannon, buy, I'm going to buy several of these and there is an element of loss that again is a server side setting. So you will lose blocks by doing this. But effectively we're going to trade up right click see what it is right click right click until we find a good one if we can't find a good one drag and drop it back into the shop and sell it start again however I've just found an exploit ah, whoops okay but yeah basically you should get less back than what you bought but anyway so what I'm going to do now is, um, you understand the trade up system, so you trade up your stuff to get a decent recipe in order to complete your chain. Um, and like I say, this one is producing soil from rock, so if we just take the soil and chuck it in here, okay, and that will start making the soil, so we can, that's what, so we can buy our recipe to make the white paint to make the AMC's for free. So effectively um, all it needs is a bit of resource mining at the right planet types and you're away. Over here of course, what if I didn't want to go resource mining all that rock? Well, you can just continue the chain and we've got rock here. We need seven tall grass flowers to make one rock. So if I just take all of these grass flowers which I prepared earlier 
and just drop them in there. That would take quite a few planets to get that many. <laughs> so yeah, it is completely random and I only took about 10 minutes to sort of sit here and get some recipes that showed the basic idea. You can sit there all night and find, you know, one, uh, it will make one black hardened hull out of one uh, Plextanium L1 or something, you know, and then you can just buy an L4, course it down, and you've got like, uh, you know, you can just chuck like a stack of a million L1s in there, and that will just produce you all the hull you need forever. But, um, like I say, it is random, it is most likely going to be overhauled um, soon. So I just thought I'd do a quick video on showing how you set this up. I mean, I'm just going to show you what my what what's been made so far, so you can get an idea of how quick it is. We got 620, 630 AMC blocks. We've got oh, I didn't put anything in there. Oops, I do. I need to put the wood in there. Okay, so that's just going to start now. And then over here, let's see how much has been in here. We got. 230 soil being made. One, okay, got a bunch of rock, and then this is the first one that we opened, which is now got 78 decorative panels plus the 38. That's 110. And bear in mind, you can make these just like in all the walls of the whole station if you want, and it will burn through your ingredients, but it will make everything super fast. So. That's pretty much all I've got to say about the um, about the current factory system. Um, I think I've pretty much covered everything. Um, I can't really think of anything else at this point to add. But um, like I say, add something in the comments below. If there's anything I've missed, I will make sure to include it in the next tutorial on this. And obviously, as soon as we see some changes to this, I will come back, rebuild and redo this tutorial. So uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.